What's up everyone? Today we're hanging out in the glades at Cedar Hills. This is a brand new neighborhood being built in Smyrna, Tennessee, which is a suburb of Nashville. This is a great, great location, a great neighborhood. You're not gonna wanna miss this for the price point. You can get some beautiful homes in this neighborhood. Neighborhood has amenities. We're gonna walk through two of the model homes today. Let you see those by both David Weekly and Dries Homes. We're gonna take you through and let you see those. We're also gonna drive you through, let you see some of the homes and what this neighborhood looks like, show you the amenities. So stay tuned, you're not gonna wanna miss this. Now, if this is your first time visiting my channel, my name is Jennifer Gramling. I'm a real estate agent here in the Nashville area. I just put out content trying to get you more familiar with this area. If you're thinking about moving here or relocating, this is gonna be a great channel for you. So be sure to subscribe. And like I said, I am an agent in the area. So if you have questions at all about moving here or relocating, be sure to reach out to me. You can find all my contact information in the description. And there's also a Calendly link there. If you'd like to book a time to talk directly with me, you can do that as well. So be sure, don't hesitate to reach out. And like I said, go ahead and subscribe. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into this neighborhood. Okay, so like I said, this neighborhood is gonna be in Smyrna, Tennessee. And if you're not familiar with that, Smyrna is a town that's located just south of Nashville on the southeast side. And it's located right next to Nolensville. This is gonna be in Rutherford County. Now, like I said, we are gonna take you through some of the homes. We're gonna take you through the models. But first, let me just show you where this is on a map so that you can understand where this is this is going to be in a really great location so this is going to be located about nine miles from nolensville it's also going to be about nine miles from the downtown kind of area of smyrna where all the amenities and things are so you've kind of got a little bit of the best of both worlds so if you look at it on a map, it's gonna be right here. It's almost out in the country a little bit, but like I said, nine miles to Nolensville. Nolensville, if you haven't seen my videos on Nolensville, you've got a little bit more of a historic downtown with more local shops, eateries, and things like that. Then you can go the other direction into Smyrna, which again is about eight to nine miles. And then that's gonna take you to where you've got Target and a lot of those big box stores. A lot of the shopping needs that you're gonna have are gonna be located right there in that Smyrna area. So you kind of got the best of both. Both worlds. You can head on over to Nolensville for a little bit more of that small town feel and then for more of your bigger shopping you can head over to Smyrna so you kind of got the best of both. It's also going to be walking distance to Stewart's Creek Schools. So if you need schools, if you have kids and that's important to you, look those up. It's Stewart's Creek Triple Schools. So elementary, middle, and high school and those are all going to be walking distance to this neighborhood which is really fantastic. And it's also going to be walking distance to Cedar Stone Park which is located right here as well. So a lot of great things right here within walking distance. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the lots in here so that you can see as you drive through here you'll see these homes are going to be on generally around a quarter to a third of an acre lot so some just a little under a quarter some all the way up to a third so you've got a little bit of a range but you are going to get a little bit of space here in between your homes which is nice and a little bit more of a backyard than you might be able to get in some other neighborhoods and then homes in here are going to range anywhere from around 2200 square feet all the way up to about 3300 square feet so far just to give you an idea of the range of the sizes of the homes and you can see See as we drive through here some of the exteriors of some of these homes just gives you again an idea but then we'll also swing you through the amenity center really quick so you are going to have a pool in here and a playground which is really nice if you have kids or grandkids they want to go or you yourself want to get out to the pool and just hang out and cool off they do have that here in this neighborhood and the hoa is only going to be 40 dollars in this neighborhood so really low hoa i have a lot of people calling me asking me about HOA fees and things. A lot of people don't wanna pay those. So here your HOA fee is really low, $40, covers that pool, ground maintenance, and all those things, which is really great. And then, like I said, home sizes in here are gonna be around 2,200 to about 3,300 square feet so far. That's what's been being built. Anywhere from three to six bedrooms in some of these homes and two to five baths. So a big range of sizes in here as well, if you're looking for something a little bit smaller or a little bit larger with more bedrooms, whatever will fit your needs, you can find that in here. And then the price ranges in here are really, really great. So price wise right now, homes are selling anywhere from the low 500s all the way up to about 700. So about a $200,000 range, but typically homes are selling somewhere from in the high fives to the mid sixes is gonna be your average price point in here. So let's go ahead. I wanna walk you through a couple of these models so that you can see these are two really phenomenal builders, David Weekly, Andres Homes. Both of them build a lot in Williamson County as well. So let's go ahead. We're gonna to tour David Weekly first and then we're gonna go through Dries. What you'll wanna know is that there's a lot of things that you can customize with these builders. So you can customize your tile options. A lot of the floor plans you can customize and change. You can add on a larger patio, you can cover it. You can even make changes to the layouts and the floor plans in some cases 
pieces. So a lot of different things to customize. It's not totally cookie cutter here. You can choose your exteriors and outside. So a lot of things to customize, but let's go ahead. Let's take a look inside these homes. So this is the outside of the David Weekly home. And let's go ahead and let's jump inside. Okay, so coming in the front door, you've got your office, which you can keep open or you can close it off however you want to do that. So coming in, you can see it's so pretty. You've got a lot of really nice details in your David Weekly home. So a lot of different ways that you can customize it. But lots of windows in the living room and it's all open and really nice. So you've got your dining space over here. You've got your living room over here and your stairs to go up. And then you can see you've got a nice patio off the back. And then you'll buzz over. You can go into your primary suite. And again, you've got lots of great big windows here. Letting in a lot of light. And then into the primary bath, as you can see, we've got a really cool super shower in here. So you'll have the choice of the super shower or a shower tub combo. Depending on how you want that, you've got extra large closet, lots of space. And then the primary bath is gonna go through into your laundry, which is really nice. I love this. this is one of my favorite features of houses right now with the pass through. So you don't have to walk all the way over with your laundry. You've got your mud room and your drop zone right here. And then you've got your guest bath and your guest bedroom over here, which is really actually pretty big. Got a really nice size guest bedroom. Okay, now we're heading upstairs. Let's take a look at all of the features up here. So you've got your bonus room, TV room, playroom, whatever you wanna do with this space. You've got your first bedroom up here. You have your shared bath with double sinks. And then you've got your second bedroom up here. They've obviously got this here for design purposes. And then I imagine you're gonna have some walk-in storage over here. So they have some walk-in storage. An extra large closet. and your linen closet here. So a lot of great spaces in this house. It's a really great use of space. Okay, so as you can see, the David Weekly home, really beautiful. They made a lot of really cool design choices in here. Now jumping over to Dries, this is the exterior of the Dries home. I've done a lot of different tours of Dries model homes. They do build in a lot of places. It's a really popular builder here in the Nashville area. But here is the exterior of their model here. And again, both of them have lots of different models that you can choose from to build in here and lots of different lots to choose from right now. But let's go ahead, we'll jump through this model as well. Okay, so coming in the front door of the Dries home, you've got immediately off to the right, you've got your office, which you can see, and all of these will be options that are available to you is to, to add the coffered ceiling, the built-in bookshelves, the color, and obviously just a lot of different selections to choose from in these homes. So you come in the front door, you've got your office off to the right, and then over off to the left, you're gonna have your guest bath and your guest bedroom, which you can see. It's really cute and convenient here on the front of the house. And then your guest bedroom is a really nice size as well. You turn around, you can see they put a lot of really nice details into their model. So you've got your stairs to go upstairs. We'll come back to in just a second. We go back this back hallway and then your primary bedroom is going to be tucked back here on the back side of the house, which is really nice kind of away from company, away from guests. If um, you have somebody visiting and you don't wanna be 
right up where everyone can see and hear you. You've got your primary tucked back here and then you're gonna have your bath back this way. Again, this house also is gonna have that super shower, but if you wanna trade that out for a bath shower combo, you can do that. And then on this side, you're gonna have your closet with a lot of extra space in there. So then we'll head back out, go back out into the living and dining room. Also, you've got your garage off here to the left and your drop zone right here for all of your backpacks and other goodies. Leave those out of sight, out of mind, and into the dining room and living room. And this, like the David Weekly, you've also got the living room open to the dining room, a little bit different configuration, but it's really nice here. You've got vaulted ceilings, which makes it feel a little bit bigger and you've got the nice beams in here. And we're seeing a lot more of these more modern fireplaces, which is really, really cool. I like that a lot. And then off over to the right, you've got your kitchen with an extra large island. You've got your double ovens, your built-in microwave, and some really cool tile choices. So you can see, you can do a lot of different things to customize these homes though. But this is a really great one by Dries. And again, you've got the covered patio off on the back. You have the option to make that covered or not covered. And then you can extend that concrete as well. Let's go check out the pantry for all you folks who love pantries. You've got a nice size pantry in here with a lot of extra added space. We love that walk-in pantry. And then we're gonna go upstairs and check out the upstairs. Now upstairs here, you're gonna have kind of a similar configuration. So you've got your bonus room right here, which could be your TV room, a playroom, really whatever you wanna do with this space. And then you're gonna have your additional bedrooms up here too, as well as your shared bath. So you've got your first bedroom here. You're going to have a walk-in closet. You can see here. And then going back out to the bonus room, you can go over here to the other bedroom. Both are a really nice size bedroom. And then you're gonna have your linen closet off to the right and your secondary bath with shared sinks and your shower tub combo. And then back out to your bonus room, which just gives you that extra added living space, which is really, really nice. So both really great configurations on both of these houses, but lots of different models to choose from in both of these builders. And as you can see, these are some really beautiful homes, a lot of really great options. It's hard to find homes in this price point, really anywhere in Nashville, honestly. So this is a great price point to be so close to Nashville. But there are actually a lot of really great neighborhoods going on in this area in Smyrna in this price point and even a little bit lower. So we're gonna cover some more of those neighborhoods because it's a really great option in this price point. Really love this area, really love this location. So it's definitely worth checking out. So if you're interested in this neighborhood or have other questions, feel free to reach out to me. You can find all my contact information, like I said, in the description. You can call, text, email, however you wanna get in touch. Happy to answer any and all of your relocating questions. Drop in the comments if there's a neighborhood that you wanna see, happy to cover that as well. Make sure we'll try to get out there and get that covered for you, but happy to answer any and all your questions. So be sure to reach out. We've got a lot of really great tours coming up soon. So be sure to stay tuned and subscribe. Thanks so much. And we'll see you on the next video.